Well, the shooters and reloaders, Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And I just did a search on YouTube and I did not see any warnings about reducing the loads of slow burning powders in big cases and the danger of doing that. The huge danger of taking a slow burning powder like 4831 and loading a reduced load in a case like the 30-06. By a reduced load I mean for instance you cut a charge of 50 grains in half and want to load a 25 grain charge of 4831 in this big case. What happens is guns in the past have blown up shooting those kind of loads. And this is against logical reason because you would think well you take a case of 4831 and you put in half the powder and it should be safe right because you're not using as much powder should be less pressure less velocity and this kind of thing but in fact the exact reverse is true guns have blown up in the past and the labs tried to figure out exactly how it happened and you cannot get it to happen on demand but what they think occurs is that there are times when the muzzle of the rifle is down so the powder runs through the front of the case. Then when you fire it around the primer flame jumps across a big airspace, lights the back end of the powder and then that powder starts to burn and pressurizes this area and that jams the powder together into a solid. This happens within milliseconds. Then what happens is you get a muzzle, you get a barrel obstruction and the gun blows up. So it's a very unsafe thing to do to load slow burning rifle powders in big cases with reduced loads. Do not do that. It is today you don't see that warning in the loading manuals and you don't see this warning on YouTube. Plus there's a big tendency today for shooters to shoot 30 calibers and try and duplicate the 300 blackout trying to shoot a subsonic load around 1050 feet per second and that means reduced powder charges and the danger of the reduced powder charge with slow burning powders now crops up. Well there is a safe way to do it and here's how you it's do very it. very simple with a reloading manual like the Fine Lee reloading manual when you see slow burning powders never go under the starting load. So this is 30-06 and you see the 220 grain jacketed bullet or a 200 grain uh, Barnes or 200 grain lead bullet. You have a starting load here for these powders. They're all fairly slow burning powders. Don't go underneath those. So even though you're tempted to try and cut those in half, don't do that. Now in our fine Lyman reloading manual you'll see a lot of loads for jacketed bullets and you might want to use a jacketed bullet at subsonic velocity so that the temptation is going to be to take a heavy jacketed bullet and then find a load that you can cut in half and get down to around 1050 but that is not recommended. All these are slow burning powders. If you cut those in half you run the risk of blowing the gun up. So don't do that. So how can you do that? How can, how can you get a reduced load around 1050 like a 300 blackout load? Is you go right to the next page and you use cast bullet data. And here you, you'll see that there's fast burning powders or slow burning pistol powders. The fast burning powders are like red dot unique. Those are a lot faster than the slow rifle powders and you can actually load these underneath the starting load and do it safely. So you can build your loads that are subsonic from this data. Now You'll notice that unique is done in every one of these. So unique is a great powder because of the way it lights up the ease of which, which it uh, ignites and the way it burns is a great powder for reduced loads in rifle rounds, even the 30 six. 
you can easily get down to 1050 safely and there's no chances of the small charges of unique causing the guns to blow up or better yet you could go right to the Lyman cast bullet handbook and there find 30 odd six loads the heavier bullets and you'll have loads using red dot unique green dot herco all of our favorite handgun powders and these are fast burning powders uh, and they will work very nicely with charges around 10 grains and you cut those down and get your 1050 with those powders easily and safely. So shooters and reloaders out there, take care and we'll see you in the next video.